everyone. So this game I'm playing is US, and I am going to be playing my Pathfinder base build. Going to get out a couple of Pathfinders. Once I get the Pathfinders out, they'll be followed up with Riflemen. And from there, if I want to go Weapon Support Center, I'll go Weapon Support Center. Last time I played this, I went for the quad half track and it worked pretty good. Uh, this time, I might just go for a Bazooka and MG, play more infantry base style, mix in the captain, um, and go from that. Or I'll go mechanized support center, either one of those, because both are viable. Once you go airborne, you just... <laughs> the world's your oyster. There's so many possible pathway options that you can take. Um, so it's more about just seeing what my opponent's army composition is, where their units are moving, and making up my tech call based on that and the map control position at that point in time. My opponent this game, I am up against Vermacht. His name's Fasto. He's in the top 50. He's got Breakthrough, Luft, and Italian Coastal. So another player that has thought not nah, Mechanized is now unplayable, which I disagree with because I think Mechanized is still playable. I've had a couple of games and I've gone eight rads just with one eight rad and I've been able to win um, within the first 15 minutes. Um, you can still do a lot of damage with that eight rad. You just... just you just can't spam them anymore, which I think is a fair trade. I didn't like the the previous meta of mo mass 8 rads up against massed M8s. It was just a little bit um, tasteless for my liking. So I'm, I'm glad the meta's moving away from that. And I probably should focus on fighting this a little bit more because I'm about to lose this engagement. And I'm going to retreat there. I'm going to just get an early healing um, station at this point. Because I didn't really lose any manpower in that and I don't want to lose manpower and give him needless veterancy. So I'll get these guys healed up, and then this scout is going to push on to the south. I'll jump into that house. And I will grab that point. Alright, nothing's there. Alright, time to grab that, and grab that. Hopefully he just doesn't swing an MG or across to this side. And lets me safely recap my fuel. Not many players will push this side of the map either. That caught me off guard a little bit. Most players will tend to secure the south side first. So, um, I'll get that squad there. No, I don't want grenades. I want a rifleman. All right, we'll treat that since he's got the second squad there. All right, three grands. So I know his army's composition. He's got three grands. That means he doesn't have an MG yet. He might be making the next one, but I've got time to wait and see with that, especially since he pushed all the grands to the south side of the map. So he might be getting healing next, um, or he might be pushing my fuel like that. Either way, I'm going to harass his fuel after this and see if I can jump into that green cover and that one. He might even transition here into a sniper. I'm going to get weapon support center. And I'm just going to rotate into that green cover. Let him come to me. If he wants to fight, he can fight. So I've got a good green cover position here. He doesn't. I'll deny that. And I'll shoot the rifle grenade now. Yep, you can see he just teched up. He's got... Good. That forced that retreat, which is handy. So that forced him to come across that side. I don't want to fight that, though. I just want to push him out of an, into an awkward position. And that forced a massive general retreat. So that's, that's huge. With that general retreat, I'm going to be able to push up here. Get a position down on there. And I'm going to make the quick decision to retreat that squad back. He's gone Luftwaffe, so that's good to know. And I'm going to follow up with an MG. Going to get smoke on that squad. And I'm going to jump into this green cover next. 
What do you need? Need some recon, sir? Cover your fields of fire. Hold for orders. We're locked and loaded. You men, get ready. Pathfinders, ready. Boys, fresh boots. This ain't no recon. Crap, got All right, that's good. I'll just stall this out as long as I can. Even if I lose a little bit of manpower, that's all right. Good enough. Then that MG to protect my fuel. And this scout is going to cap the south now. But my rifles are going to push up into the north. So I'll grab that. Grab that. This will provide vision for my MG. I'm happy to fight that like that. And I'm also going to get the smoke. Roger that. Smoke bombs are ready to be dropped when and where needed. We can find a way. Let's set up to secure that ground. Good. Envelop and hold. Capture complete. So if I can shoot the smoke there. No, no, no. That's not going to work. All right, I want to do a smoke pot drop just there. I'm also putting it into my retreat path here so that it's going to come down faster. But then this will buy me time, precious time. And he can't see me here either. Now he's gone this way. He's He wants to kill me on retreat. So I'm not going to hang around there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come down this way and retreat. And I will go mechanize. And this squad will just protect this VP. That's good enough. Let's retreat. So he's called in a, a airdrop there. So I'm not going to... This game, I am not going to go for a... I'm not going for a um, M8 or quad. I'm going for a Sherman. Because the Sherman will bounce round off that unit. I'll get an LMG. Good grenade, good grenade. And now we just push. Retreat. And I'll get into the green cover there as well. And I just want to keep on putting pressure on this fuel. I can also flank those. Um... Oh, they've got a wider arc than I thought, actually. All right, that's enough. I'll retreat there. Get it to the green cover, so it makes it awkward for him. And rotate here. I want to get the fuel first. I'll shoot the flare. Damn it! And, ooh, that actually punches a hit whilst you're in green cover. Either way, smoke. That's enough time. Um, I'm going to get a mortar first. And I'll bring the paras into his retreat path. Oh, not his... Uh, no, no. Oh, he's actually coming around this side. Alright, I'm going to jump in my paras into that green cover. I think that's the best best option. Smoke pots. Territory lost. 
so that makes it awkward for him. I'll have to move my mortar back, though. And now I've got the fuel to tech, so we'll get Tank Depot out next. I'll shoot a flare there just to see what else is coming, but... I think I'm safe to do that. Yeah, especially after I get that suppression. And then I'll just rotate that across like that. And everything else can push into the mid. Ooh, can I decap? I want to decap. I don't think I can decap. <laughs> just keep on running back home. Um, and my LMG is uh, starting to pack a punch, especially now that I'll get concealment. I'll get the damage, damage pop. So I'll just keep them sitting in cover and constantly just keep on procking it. Shermans are going to be on their way in a moment. I'm going to pop some smoke in front of this VP so I can safely cap it. And I'm just going to leave this MG like this. I'll bait into it. Good. Alright, MG's going to come into the center now to defend this central VP. These guys will cap that. That's enough. I'll win that engagement at long range. And hopefully my mortar can get in a couple of nice hits. Oh, he broke the cover. Yeah, retreat. I don't want to bleed manpower unnecessarily. And now we just set up the next wave. Um, I'll get an engineer that I'm floating some manpower, and then I'm just going to get Shermans out. I'll get the standard Sherman because I want a bit of soft AT. Get the AT gun prepped as well. Maybe I can kill a model. No. Start getting some mines down. Ooh, nice flank by him there. Shaman time. Just backtrack there a little bit. I got put double mine there. I know it's not ideal the VP scenario, but I'm not panicking. We can forget this. Especially because I'm playing so manpower efficient. He's bleeding a lot more manpower than I am, so... Our line is collapsing. Enemy taking our point. Take that damn crowd. Combat engineers. Move it. Point captured it. Oh, no, boys. Disengage. Especially once my Sherman pops out. I'll be able to stabilize. Get the bars. And once the bars hit, I'll be able to cause some, some mayhem. Especially if I sprint here, actually. There we go. That's a nice force retreat. <laughs> a nice ping shot as well. 
Nice. Almost halfway to vet one, which is good. And I just want to get these paras in a nice defensive position if possible. That's a good position. I'm liking that one. We're going to flare into his base. And bars are next. And grenades. Actually, I'm going to sit right here. I'm going to wait for him to come to me. Like this. Yep. Good. So I'm getting sprint on my rifleman here. And I'm going to sprint through that. See if I can catch off one of them. No. It's fine. Um, I'll get keep it moving. The setup time is pretty ping ping ping. Yeah, the armor upgrade made some massive difference, doesn't it? Oh yes. Oh, such a nice ambush. Oh, okay. Alright, I'm just going to keep my Pathfinder in the center here. He's got a lot of infantry. Victory point now under enemy 
control. Wait, did I lose my... Yeah, yeah, I did. I gotta rebuy that. And I might be able to kill that. Oh no no no! Bingo fuel here. Heading back to base. Fire, find Enemy activity near our munitions point. Deploy some grenades. A victory point has fallen into enemy control. Oh, it stopped. No. I think the cost effectiveness of his build order is starting to show. Our opponent has all victory points under their control. Act now. Luftwaffe power is coming into effect. No, get the one with Foreman. They pushed us off a sector. Relay off. Fire's arrived. Half open. Fill up and hold. Let's get to marching. That's up. Let's head out. Take their sector. Nice and quiet. Let's move out. All right. All right. Come on. You heard the man. We're down to 200 points. That's a big blob, and I think I can kill it all. Nice, I got one squad down. Keep rifles losing integrity. 
riflemen are being upgraded with grenade packages. A victory point is under attack. We must act. That was some effective smoke there. And I just need to shoot some air bursts, I think, here at the entrance to his base. Yeah. Nice! Did I kill that? Oh, it bounced! Main thing here, just want to get some nice smoke into the middle, avoid that stuff, and I need to upgun my, um, I need to upgun them, my Shermans now, so I get extra penetration versus this Brumba. Oh, if I shoot a flare here, I'm gonna unveil his whole army. I need to smoke my retreat path here. Sent him north. This is a pretty fun game. They've taken our victory point. Oh, why aren't they fixing it? Eric, I got the two. Move out. Eighty-eight going. Everybody, cows loaded. The 
What are we waiting for? Yeah, Time to ready, ready for action. Come on, let's get Give us something to do. Sherman reporting. Hey, you got a job for it? Break out the repair kit. All right, he's going to go north. He's going to go south. <gasps> no. We're headed into crowd territory. That was capping, then it stopped. One hundred points remain. We're cutting it close. A strategic point is being claimed. Oh, bummer. That's cost me a lot of VPs. Reports of enemy movement near our victory point. Our territory is cut off from supply. Reconnect with it. Nah. You go here. You go south. All the anti-tank guns are in the north. Oh, not the north. Over here. So, I'm going to smoke that. Looks like my opponent's going to try go for a VP win, I reckon. No, no, no. Oh, I stuffed that up. I gotta go, go for a de decisive flank here, I think. Or something like this. The Brumb is hurting me now, though. We've lost a squad of riflemen at the front. Need more infantry. I'm losing a lot of that. Come on, come on, I need one good air burst barrage. Commander, CPs are waiting to be used. 
Nice. Oh, yes. Just keep pushing, keep pushing, keep repairing. Really nice air burst again. I'll repair that tank over there. And I'll bring him forward. I'm going to smoke there. And I, if I can get some sandbags down here, I'll be very happy. I'll be able to push him away from there. I need one more Sherman. Once I get one more Sherman, I'll have the armor advantage. And if I can mine here as well, it'll be great. And now it's just about... I think even if I just base push him, I'll be able to lock him in and buy myself a lot of time. Even if I lose one of these Shermans, the time that I'll buy myself is going to be worth it. Enough. I'm going to use Brace here. I don't want to move that. Let's level this. Is that gonna live? No, thank goodness. Yes, victory. Oh, that was such a tight game. So back and forty. 28 VP win. <laughs> Definitely a fun game. I think that's probably one of the funnest games I've had this patch so far. Actually, no, yeah, it is the funnest. <laughs> really fun game. So back and forth. And both of us played pretty off meta. I haven't, I have not versed this style of play yet with the LG anti tank guns just in mass. They do a lot of damage against the infantry as well. Like, look at that 15 infantry kill. There was at times that I was getting confused what was the difference between the Rumba shots and the anti tank gun team's anti infantry rounds. They definitely pack a punch. I was off meta on my behalf by using the 76 mil Shermans as well, which is always a joy to use.
Paris 29. Mortar 9. Yeah, big trade game. A lot of key units for both of us. All right, I'll show the stats for those that are interested. Whoa, that's almost 350 casualties. That's a lot. And that's everything. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Take care. Bye.